frightening night in Jacksonville. And he said, you've got 100 mile an hour winds coming toward you. And I prayed. The damage revealed this morning. Big pine trees snapped in half, downed power lines, and debris scattered on roadways. A scene Jerry Royster couldn't seem to put into words. I don't know how to answer that. Uh, people say something like this looks like it's been bombed, but it looks worse, but it's worse than that. Royster was home alone when her son called and told her to take cover. She says she had never been so terrified. Well, I told my son, I said, uh, I said, I'm fixing to die. I'm in a tornado and I love you. And but I told him, I said, get the Bible and read the 91st Psalm. And he did. And then we had he had prayer over the telephone. God brought me through. Madeline Miles's dorm was also in the storm's path. We kept getting reports that it was getting worse and worse and worse, and then the, the storm was, um, it was just at the end, and there was thunderstorms, and uh, we could see and hear the big tree out behind our dorm just fell, and I filmed parts of it flying up, and the generators were crushed, and it was really scary. Everyone here thankful the storm apparently didn't take lives and looking forward to the road to recovery. Now, officials here have set a 7 p.m. curfew here. They're asking everyone to stay off the roads near campus so they can continue to clean up, survey damage, as well as restore power. Again, Governor Kay Ivey did declare a state of emergency earlier this morning. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll explain exactly what that means. Live in Jacksonville, Alabama, Asha Staples, Fox 10 News.